Hello everybody, this is Skip Allen. I get asked a lot if we have a brush that will just wet the paper, not put any uh, watercolor, not even put any paint down, but just wet the paper so you can come back and flood it with watercolor. And we don't really have a brush like that, but there is a technique that kind of simulates it, and it's using a function of real watercolor called a real wet replace. And let me show you what we need to do. You want to open up your uh, brush control panels. Go to Window, uh, Brush Control Panels, and click out here. Or use the uh, shortcut key Control B or Command B for the Mac. You also want to open up your Papers panel. And so just go to Papers and uh, click out here or use Control uh, 9 or Command 9 for the Mac. Now, on your papers, be sure that you go to Italian watercolor paper and set it up with these uh, numbers because uh, paper does affect watercolor. Then I want you to select, <coughs> excuse me, uh, select a real watercolor brush called the Real Wet Wash Brush. Okay, now I'm going to try and go through this real quickly, but remember you can pause the uh, video and, and get it. You want to leave the brush controls alone up here at the top, but you want to take the viscosity down to zero and the evaporation rate to zero. Bring the settling rate up to about 80% and take this, the weight down to about 60%. Uh, leave roughness as is, bring flow resistance all the way up, leave dry rate as is, and drop the granulation. Bring your angle up to 270 and let's take the force all the way up to 100. Take your animation up to 10. Now let's go over to the general control panel and at real wet cover, change that to real wet replace. Also go to your size and increase the min size to 100 and change the expression to none. That'll just keep your brush at the same size. Okay, so now, when you use this uh, real, real replace, <laughs> real wet replace brush, as you paint with it, you get a dark color. As you reduce your pressure, you get a lighter color. But you can actually bring your pressure so light that you replace all of the color and you, you, you really are just getting some white in there. Now this particular brush I've set up to be very runny. Okay, so what I want you to do is click on Pause Diffusion. You can do it here or up here in the property bar. And then I want you to start painting with uh, a color outside of the line. Try not to go right even with the line. And then just make a, a, a kind of a mark going around like that. And then come in and fill with that color. Now, once you get it filled, you want to come back into it and remove the color. So we're going to go back in with a very light stroke. We're going to remove as much of the color as we can. Now, be careful when you get around the edge here. The reason I went outside of that line is because as I remove the color, I usually get right up to the edge and sometimes into the leaf form. This is going to be kind of like negative painting in a way. Uh, so we reduce all of that. Now what we want to do is change brushes and I'm going to go to uh, the, re the fractal wet fractal wash wet inside of real watercolor. And I'm going to go to another color. Let's go to a sort of, a, a, we'll go to a, a green. And as I paint, notice that you don't really see much, okay? It's not really putting anything down because I'm using a very light pressure. What I want to do is increase my pressure a bit. And what it does is the paint doesn't paint. Now, if I, if I, press real hard it will, but light pressure and it just paints inside where I had painted with the uh, real wet uh, replace brush. It's almost like uh, that area was wet and so the, the paint is uh, being uh, attracted just to that area. Now go in and put in another color or two. And if it's lighter, you you won't it won't cover it. Uh, if it's a, but it will get in there and kind of 
affect the co color. Okay, once you've done that, switch back to your original color, back to the real wet wash, and take off your pause diffusion and watch what happens. See how this comes down to the line that I left? Even shows a little lines and edges out here on the side, but it doesn't go really beyond it. Now, it went a little bit too far, but it doesn't really go beyond it. It's almost like painting with water and, you know, getting this real nice blend. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.